Hey there, Rodney, and uh, other people who uh, want to look at this. I um, I've been, I was talking to uh, to Rodney a few nights ago. Well, last night to be precise, if I can get this thing uploaded in a timely fashion. And uh, essentially, I wanted to ask him a few questions, and I thought they were of um, of interest uh, to, to the other people to uh, be answered publicly as well. So I will present to you five, but not for a particular reason, you know, and it's, it's not to to mimic another you know person for the you know their five questions or it's just you know five and questions in general are usually the right amount of you know time to to to, to make it worth a, like a, an actual video response. <laughs> so here we go. First question. My player wants to use Swan Ming for rolling a d20 in Pathfinder. Uh, you know, the I Ching method, to be precise. Would that be acceptable to pull off, or is the player trying to cheat the system by using a method that isn't really, you know, uh, you can't really validate it consistently for failures and successes? That's what I want to know. For... The second question, I have a player who wants to use Summon Swarm to call a horde of corgis, I'm, I'm not kidding you this, onto the battlefield. Uh, you know, since they're really small creatures, I mean, I, I think they would, you know, they would work, you know, like a, like a rat would be, because I've seen some huge rats, and they would they would probably be applicable for the example given in the spell description when I have uh, saw the spell. So, is it legit to do so without breaking the scope of the effect? Like, you know, like, would stats have to be, like, verified, you know, you know, would they have to change variety of the spell and stuff like that? Like, how much flavor text modification would have to be, like, you know, a real concern for? You know, that kind of stuff. All right, question number three. I would like to get family and friends who aren't inherently interested in performance role-playing. Uh, you know, the, the octane role playing to uh, try and see if they would, uh, you know, enjoy it. Uh, what non-RPGs, you know, board games, can I use that can be a gateway drug, you know, kind of, to, to storytelling? Games that will make them feel, you know, immediately uncomfortable uh, role playing their character on the map, you know, like, uh, maybe like a clue, for example, but, you know, more variety, so that way, I can just say, hey, have another rousing game of Clue, you know, for my example of, uh, you know, trying to do that kind of stuff for, for role play purposes. Question four. In honor of the Olympics, I would like to role play a curling event, you know, a match, a tournament, that kind of thing. How could I run it and still keep the feel, the, uh, you know, the tactical nature of the game? Um... Yeah, I think that's solid. Yeah, how how, how can I keep it uh, authentic to uh, how that match is uh, played? Uh, you know, for for an RPG setting kind of thing. And then finally, question five, because I always have silly questions with not so serious uh, silly questions. At what bus size will it be okay to use a character's breast as a weapon? I want to know just because character concept, I think would be really fun to do that in terms of to use said breast as a weapon. But it could be male or female, you know, no judge. But uh, yeah, and that's about it. So uh, thank you for your time, Rodney, and I look forward to your answers. And if anyone else feels like answering, you know, you go for it because I think there there's enough variety there to... Uh, to, to get your take on it too. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.